good afternoon guys uh, welcome to my tutorial uh, so today I'm I'm going to talk about the conditional formatting and uh, I have prepared uh, some data here so it has some numbers and text as well and uh, we are supposed to do three things over here uh, the first thing is that if the number is greater than 50 then we want that it should be uh, highlighted in green color and if the number is lesser than 50 then it should be in red and if it's not a number and a text maybe like I have written my name here Ajay then it has to be blank so it should not be visible right so these are the three conditions and uh, when I say that um, uh, you know the text that text could be anything right it could be any word not necessarily that you know some specific word all I'm looking for is that that it has to be a text formula right so uh, before I do the conditional formatting I just assume that uh, you know I believe that you are the basic knowledge of is text formula is must right uh, in case if you're not aware of it let me just tell you that is text actually is used to in order to identify uh, the you know what actually value or what is the property of a cell you know the value which is actually uh, there in your spreadsheet for example if this is a 44 if I need to check whether it is a text or not so I'll do this I'll select this and press enter and it will give me the false right and the moment I'll, I'll drag this formula down you see that um, hello is the only uh, you know entry which shows this result as positive as true right and if I change this 99 to let's say GH 822 right so it, it is going to be uh, give the result as a true right because this is alphanumeric and alphanumerics are treated as text entries right all right so that's something which we are going to build here the logic uh, so I'll select this entire range and I'll go to the conditional formatting and I'll do the new rule and uh, so we'll build the three rules the first one is that if the cell value is uh, greater than 50 okay then greater than 50 has to be green right so go to the format and uh, go to the fill option and select it could be any color but I'm just choosing this okay so uh, maybe uh, that's that's the color I should choose so press OK and the moment you press OK you can see that all the colors which are greater than 50 they are highlighted in green right so if I change this to 7 it will not be right because we haven't put any condition uh, for this lesser than and uh, hello is also uh, going to be uh, you know green which is not which is a bug actually so we'll deal with this it should not be the case so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go into the manage rules and new rule so what is my new rule I would say that format cells if the value is less than 50 then go to the format and give me the red color okay so I'll choose this uh, maybe I like to choose this color right well I said red but yeah you can actually you know definitely choose any color of your own choice so that depends upon your this uh, parameters what kind of a color you are referring to right that has nothing to do with this specific color so I'll press ok and I'll say apply the moment you say apply it is going to be applied on all the cells right the color is changed now now what else you want is uh, the important part is that any text it should not be uh, visible right it should be a blank it should be uh, seen as a blank right so go to the new cell and this time use this option use the formula right and say that is text if it is a text which means let me select this cell okay and let me just remove this dollar sign from here so if it is going to be a text then what has to be done uh, it has to be the background has to be white and uh, font should also be white so the combination of font color and the background color will make it complete white right and press ok and apply yeah so now you can see that this hello is right now you can check this that this is something is written here because I have highlighted this the moment I press ok and I'll come out of any cell nobody can actually check right so this is how you can achieve this so we have built uh, the to summarize this we have uh, built actually three conditions one is the number is greater than 50 then this should color any color I mean to say color 1 and if number is lesser than 50 then the color 2 and in case if it is a text not a number then we want to just do not uh, you know uh, make it as a part of this conditional formatting uh, of these two colors I mean to say color family we just want to keep it separate and we 
uh, want to show it that as if like there is no color so we want to show it as a blank and the text for the blank showing is that you need to change the cell color and you need to need to change the color of the font as well for example if i if i'm writing here something like this 12 right and you want this to be uh, uh, you know uh, you want to make it unvisible then what you can do is go to the font color and do this so that's what i have actually done right the value is there but it is not visible right so guys uh, hope you like this video and uh, you can subscribe to my channel as well you can watch all my videos on the youtube and let me know in case if you're looking for trading be it on advanced excel or on the vba or maybe on the ms access database uh, you can reach me um, at this email id with your concerns with your whatever the things you are supposed you're supposed to do in the office or maybe you're not able to do i will try to help you and i will try to share with you through my this youtube channel right thank you so much and have a wonderful day bye bye thank you